off our pre-enrollment process for the upcoming school year. Please pay careful attention to the information that your academic focus teacher will be sharing over the next few days, as quite a bit has changed, including the overall process of signing up for classes. It may seem like a lot, but it's all equally important as it involves planning for your future. More specifically, this is the time that you will be choosing courses that you will take for next year. The rest of this video will not only provide you with a quick look into each department at BHS, but we'll also talk about some of the changes that are coming our way, including a number of new course offerings. Hello, I'm Mr. Mullen. This is AP English Language and Composition. It's for juniors only. Only prerequisite is passing English too. Yay! But, 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 and that's a big but. Oh no, this is a very, very uber demanding class. 12 essays, at least 12, maybe more. Writing intensive, lots of homework. There's even summer work, seriously. But there's awesome classroom personalities. And at the end, you get to be a splendid writer. Perhaps college credit. Hi, I'm Mrs. Brown from the English Department, and I would like to talk to the junior class today about a class we are offering called AP Literature and Composition. Seniors are eligible to take AP Literature and Composition. It will definitely raise your GPA. It's a weighted class. You can earn college credit and save money. So if you have any questions, see me. Again, I'm Mrs. Brown, room 402. My name is Tanya Cooper and I'll be the senior editor for yearbook next year. Hi, I'm Olivia Engelhart. I'll be the junior editor for yearbook next year. And if you wanna if you're interested in journalism and you like writing and you wanna get better at writing and design, then you can take journalism one and prep yourself to possibly take yearbook the following year. Uh, if you're already more advanced and you like photography and designing on a computer, then you should definitely sign up for yearbook and you can apply with this application and get in Carter's room and then we will pick to see if you have skills that are good enough to be in your book. Um, it's really fun and it's cool to see the end product at the end of the year because then you get to say that you've made the whole entire thing and you've seen it before everyone else has and that's a plus too. Hi, I'm Casey. And I'm Olivia and we are from the multimedia class called Cutlass TV. Cutlass TV takes a lot of outside work besides class but it really is worth it in the long run. It's a really fun class and you get to learn a lot about journalism and broadcasting, especially if that's something that you want to go into. It's a great class to really just get connected with your community and your school. And if you want to sign up for Cutlass TV, go to Mr. Carter's room and fill out an application. Applications are mandatory. Sign up! Hi, I'm Mrs. Babcock and I'm here to tell you why you should take theater arts classes. First of all, do you like just sitting in your class all hour long, taking notes and listening to boring lectures, or studying for tests? Me neither. That's why you should take a performance arts class. That's right, we get to have fun. We get to pretend like we did when we were kids. It's like organized recess. So you should take an acting one class, acting two class, or company class because we have fun. Finally, are you a film buff? Do you like to watch movies? Do you dabble in filmmaking? Then sign up for Film Analysis. We learn about film criticism, film history, film techniques, and we get to watch some of the all-time best movies in film history. If you'd rather be behind the scenes building something than performing on stage, well then technical theater class is the one you should sign up for. We get to build great sets, like this one. If you'd rather enjoy theater from afar, well then Theater Appreciations is the class you should enroll in. Although it's a theater history class, there's still tons of fun activities that we do to help you appreciate and enjoy every time period that theater has to offer you. Hi, Belton High School. Coach Ellis here. Got a couple things to talk to you about real fast. A couple options for you to sign up for for your oral communication credit. One, you can take Human Comm, which is our general class, or join the squad for the National Speech and Debate Association. In this organization, you get to travel around to the area high schools, compete against others, earn scholarships to college, and now those of you who wanted to achieve higher colleges and going to that field, we are partnered with Missouri State University and you can take advanced debate and actually improve your odds of going to Missouri and get college credit through our program. If you're interested or have any questions, please come see me. Hi, I'm Makaya Cannon. Next year, Spanish 1, 2, 3, and maybe 4 will be available. Spanish really isn't that hard as long as you study. It's really, I feel like it's really important to be able to speak Spanish. Um, 
It's good to have at least two foreign language classes when you graduate. You should take French because it's a, the language of love. It is extremely beautiful. And we offer all kinds of classes here at BHS. And I hope you enroll. Thank you. If you like history and you want to go step by step into it, then you should take AP History. It has a lot of cool projects that you can do, um, but be prepared for the notes and the homework that you have to do. And it's also a college credit class, so you can get college credit for the whole year that you've been studying and working hard. Um, you should take the social studies classes, which are psychology, sociology, criminal law, civil law. Um, they're really fun classes to take. You learn a lot of like useful stuff in them. And the teachers are really great, so you should definitely sign up for some of those classes. American History 101 and 102 is now available for juniors. Hey, I'm Abby. And I'm Jennifer. And we're here for the science classes for next year that you can take. Coming in as sophomores, you're all going to have to take chemistry, so just have fun with it. It's really cool. You're going to have to do a bunch of labs, so you'll have, really, you'll have a good time with it. You get to make s'mores in your labs. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Um, after you take chemistry, you can take anatomy and physiology. There's also physics, and after that, you can take advanced physics. We also have AP biology and AP chemistry. But I would recommend taking those because they sound really cool. And if you guys are science nerds, it'd be a really cool to take. Hi, I'm Mrs. Semler, and I'm here to talk to you about your math courses that you might choose for next year. Uh, ten of the most lucrative jobs in the world all require math. So if you want to make a lot of money, you should take more math. So for those of you that are in Algebra 1 or Geometry, your course is pretty much set for next year. You'll either take Geometry or Algebra 2. Once you get past Algebra 2, that's when you start having options. If you are a sophomore currently taking Algebra 2, next year for your junior year you have some options. You could take either Foundations of College Math, AP Statistics, or Dual Credit UMKC Precalculus. If you are currently a junior taking Algebra 2, next year you would take either Foundations of College Math, AP Statistics, or Dual Credit UMKC College Algebra. If you're currently a junior and you're taking college algebra only, next year you'll either take UMKC Trig and Pre-Calc or you'll take AP Statistics. If you have any questions about which math class you should sign up for, please ask your current math teacher or you can stop by room 211 and talk to me. Thanks! Hi out there Belton High School, uh, Coach Martin here. I'm talking about the computer technology. Uh, the courses we offer are Computer Applications, Computer Applications 2, uh, des Desktop Publishing, and, which is Publisher, and also Web Design. Now all those classes are designed for, to create business documents so that uh, when you graduate high school you can go out there and you can get a job in the real world. Computer Applications, that's your Microsoft Suite. Uh, desktop Publishing, we use basically Publisher. And Web Design, it's just the introduction to HTML code and very basic web building processes. Um, so if computers are your thing, or you like listening to earphones and going at your own pace and listening to your own music, then uh, look into uh, all those classes in the business technology side. Okay, so the marketing classes at Belton High School are super fun. They teach you the principles of marketing, so like advertising and price and cost and all of those like little things that you need to know if you want to go into the marketing field. Um, but if you're a sophomore and you definitely know that you want to take work release when you're a, f a senior, you need to take a marketing class your junior year. If you don't, you won't be eligible for the work release program. And if you are in the work release program, you also get to take the college marketing class. And the college marketing class, or marketing two, is the best. You get to do the sales project where we get to sell fun clothes like these. And we get to work on our DECA projects. And DECA um, is an organization of marketing students that basically teaches you how to be a leader and how to be a business leader in the world and you get to write business plans and um, basically do job interviews and role plays and win awards and get to go travel all over the uh, United States like to New York and Chicago and uh, California and this year we're going to Atlanta. Yeah, one second. Oh, didn't see you there. I was on the phone with somebody that wants to buy one of my products. 
I own a business now thanks to my entrepreneurship skills I learned from entrepreneurship class. I took that my sophomore year and with all that, now I own my own business and I'm looking to even start a second one. This is an awesome class to take if you want to make your own money. Bye guys. If you're interested in running a business one day, you should take business management. I took it my sophomore year and it taught me all the ways to properly plan to run a business for the long run. We started to run simulations on how to staff, how to pay, how to hire, all sorts of good things to run your own business one day. If you're interested in business finances of any sort, I suggest you take Accounting 1 and Accounting 2. Not only do they allow you to grow familiar with the basic concepts such as journalizing, posting, and finding out your source documents, it also allows you to grow familiar with the different methods of accounting such as different ways to take inventory, the different types of journals that you use, and the different types of accounting that you can actually use for your business. Here you see our Marketing 2 students working hard on their DECA projects. They are preparing for upcoming DECA competition next week. Marketing 2 is open to anybody that has taken Marketing 1, and it is the college marketing class. Dual credit is available through Longview. This class also has many of our DECA officers, and being part of this class means you are automatically in DECA. We do lots of projects, including our fall sales project where we sell spirit wear. If you are part of this class, you are available to be in work release. Welcome to Belton FFA High School Agriculture Lab. I'm John Ferguson, and uh, this is where it all happens. Uh, when you take agriculture class, you'll learn about taking care of animals, growing plants, building wood or metal projects, and a lot more. Today there's more than 300 careers in agriculture, and agriculture gives you courses and skills and other careers too. Yes, studying agriculture uh, opens many doors, but what you know is the best part. It's a lot of fun being like on a trap shoot team or attending national convention. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Well, that's all right because I like the way it hurts. Just gonna stand there and hear me cry. Well, that's all right. You should join FFA because it's a lot of fun. There's lots of activities and competitions that you can go to. It's based on farming and agriculture and you meet new people. So join FFA. Okay, the Project Lead the Way classes are fun because they're like engineering things. And the first one is IED and the second one is POE. And you pretty much do stuff that an actual engineer would do. So DE stands for Digital Electronics. <laughs> it's a real fun class. Ms. Sumler teaches yeah, it. it you, learn about electricity and how it works and we even wire circuits together and test them and it's real fun. So TSA is Technology Students Association. We learn about engineering and it's real fun and we do a lot of robotics in there. We go into DC this year and we're also going to Anaheim for Vex Worlds, and that'll be super fun. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pittman, um, and I teach Pro Start 1 and Level 2. Um, is cooking your passion? Are you interested in the culinary field? Do you want to become a chef someday or maybe own your own restaurant? Then Pro Start's the class for you. You're immersed in the work experience and um, students are allowed to um, eventually go into an internship if they choose to do so. And um, you have opportunities to participate in competition, but it is hard work and it does um, reflect what we have in the industry. And um, I hope you will be interested. Hey, my name is Hunter Bollinger. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Child Care One. Uh, it's with Ms. DeLapp. She's an awesome teacher. We use a lot of things. I didn't create this in this class, but it's creativity. Uh, we made a couple of poster boards around the school. You might have seen them. Uh, we learn about kids, how they act, how they should act, how we should act towards them. And we go over to Grace once a week, basically. And we chill out with teachers. We help the teachers. We interact with kids. We play with them. We teach them. We encourage them. And it's just an awesome time. Come join this class.
My name is Shelby Bruner and I'm in Ms. Delap's Child Care 2 class. Um, I have an internship at Grace so I go over twice a week and I play with the kids for about three hours during the day and um, her class is really good. I mean it teaches you it teaches you the basics, it teaches you everything else that you need to know so that you can start your career, which is what I plan on doing, teaching kids from birth up to five, six, you know, eight years old. So join her class if you haven't already, it's really good and you'll learn a bunch of new stuff about children. Hey guys, this is Erica Rogers, and these are the art courses offered at BHS. The two classes that complete your fine arts credit for graduation are the beginning arts semester classes of drawing and painting and design and sculpture, and those are both one half credits. You can also do this with any combination of art classes taught at the Freshman Center. If you took advanced art at the Freshman Center, you should sign up for Art 2, Art 3, and Art 4, which are all full year classes. Hi, it's Emmy Morehouse here. Uh, the semester classes offered in art are Intro to Ceramics, Advanced Ceramics, Watercolor Studio, Ideas and Visual Arts, an art history course that offers dual credit with the University of Central Missouri. Beginning digital pho photography with graphic manipulation next year will be offered both first and second semester at Belton High School. Choir's a lot different at the high school. We have six choirs. There's mixed choir, men's choir, women's choir, bella voce, concert choir, and Belton singers. Um, if you don't want to try out for a choir, you can be a mixed choir. If you are auditioning, put on your schedule that you're going to be in men's or women's choir. And if you make it into a higher choir, you can change your schedule. We have a change this year in the course description for advanced physical fitness. Uh, for the first time in just over 10 years, we actually will have the opportunity to take advanced every single day. It'll take uh, my appro approval um, to do so, my signature, um, but it is geared for those multi-sport athletes and or people that take advantage of the off-season program. Hi, I'm Austin Brown, or you can take co-ed, which is a lot of co-ed sports, and there's a large dancing unit at the end. If you're a senior, you can take lifetime sports and you'll do sports like swimming, bowling, and mini golf. Aerobics is an all-girls PE class where we um, swim, we do workout videos, and we play kickball. Hi, I'm Whitney Hall, and I'm here to talk about leadership. In leadership, we do a lot of work with Pirate Principles of the Month, and then we also get to volunteer a lot outside of the school. Once a week, we go over to the elementary schools and get involved in the Back Snack program, which is where we hang out with a group of kids under the poverty line and just talk to them about their lives. It makes them feel special, and we give them a backpack full of food so they can have food to eat over the weekend, and we are currently trying to find more ways for us to get involved and volunteer throughout the school. A plus seminar is a great way to get some of your hours for A plus and you also get to work with students. Student aid is a great way to get to know your teachers and it's also a nice break in your schedule if you have a lot of college classes. You must be a senior to participate in student aid. You now have an idea of some of the course changes that are taking place for next year. Take your time, do your best, and ask questions if you're not sure about something. We will do our best to schedule you into all of your top choices but please know that we often have to use your alternate course, course requests when scheduling conflicts arise. That's why it's absolutely essential that you list all eight alternates and make sure they are classes that you would want to take. Okay, time to roll up our sleeves and get busy. Until next time, Pirates, keep on keeping on.